क्लास अवर टूडेज न्यू टॉपिक इज एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगुलर पाथ सो यू ऑल अवेयर अबाउट पाथ क्लास योर पाथ मीन्स वेयर यू वॉक और रन सो नॉर्मली इफ यू हैव एनी रेक्टेंगुलर शेप एट दैट टाइम मे बी दिस इज अ रेक्टेंगुलर फील्ड देन यू आर रनिंग और यू आर वॉकिंग अराउंड दैट फील्ड सो दैट इज यूर पाथ सो हाउ यू कैलकुलेट द एरिया ऑफ दैट पाथ वी विल डिस्कस ऑन दिस टॉपिक क्लास सपोज दिस इज यूर फील्ड एंड दिस इज द पाथ वेर यू रन और वॉक सो दिस इज द एरिया वेर यू रन और वॉक सो दिस इज द पाथ सो हाउ यू कैलकुलेट द एरिया ऑफ दिस पाथ सो सपोज क्लास यूर पाथ इज टू मीटर वाइड सो हेयर ऑल्सो इट्स टू मीटर हेयर ऑल्सो टू मीटर हेयर ऑल्सो टू मीटर एंड हेयर ऑल्सो इट्स टू मीटर सो नाउ क्लास इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ द लेंथ ऑफ द फील्ड इज टेन मीटर देन बिकॉज ऑफ द पाथ द लेंथ ऑफ द आउटर रेक्टेंगल इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्लास हेयर यू हैव टू रेक्टेंगल द फर्स्ट रेक्टेंगल इज यूअर फील्ड ए बी सी डी एंड द अदर रेक्टेंगल इज ई एफ जी एच एंड विच इज मेड अप ऑफ जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पाथ so class if i am talking about this e f g h again it contain a specific length and breadth also so for a b c d you would all know this is the length for your field but what is the length of this g and h what is the length of from this point to this point it's very important class the length from this point to this point is 10 meter you all know it's a length of field but what about this what about this length and what about this length so class it's 2 meter so it's also 2 meter it is 2 meter so it is also 2 meter so the total length of this outer rectangle is 10 plus 2 plus 2 that is equal to 14th meter and if i am talking about breadth the breadth of this field is 5 meter from here to here it's 5 meter but class your outer rectangle is from this point to this point so what about this length and what about this length so class this is 2 meter so this is also 2 meter and this is 2 meter so this is also 2 meter so your total length is 5 plus 2 plus 2 that is equal to 9 meter so what do you understand by this class when you have a path then there is a slight different in the length and the breadth of that particular rectangle and now if we want to measure the area of this path for that we all know the length of this outer rectangle is 14 meter and the breadth is 9 meter we calculate here and the inner rectangle the length is 10 meter and the breadth is 5 meter so now class you have two rectangles so you can calculate the area of this path also how you calculate if i am talking about this rectangle so the area of this rectangle is 14 meter into 9 meter that is equal to 126 meter square so if i am talking about the area of this rectangle class the meaning is the whole part the whole part is 126 meter square and now if i calculate the area of this inner rectangle that is 10 meter into 5 meter 50 meter square so 50 meter square means class the area of this the total area is 126 which include all the part and 50 meter square means class this shaded part so this whole part is 126 this shaded part is 50 so if we subtract 50 from 126 then we will get this remaining part which is our path so area of path means class this is the path 
सो हाउ यू कैलकुलेट इट फ्रॉम टोटल एरिया और वी कैन से 126 ट्वेंटी सिक्स मीटर स्क्वायर माइनस फिफ्टी मीटर स्क्वायर सो इन टोटल एरिया इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट द एरिया ऑफ दिस पार्ट देन यू विल गेट द रिमेनिंग पार्ट विच इज यूर पाथ सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैलकुलेट द एरिया ऑफ पाथ एंड द सेम काइंड ऑफ प्रोसीजर यू विल फॉलो फॉर स्क्वायर ऑल्सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर यू कैन सी योर फर्स्ट लेंथ इज टेन मीटर इनर लेंथ देन यूर आउटर लेंथ इज फोर्टीन जस्ट बिकॉज यू एड यूअर पाथ टू टाइम्स इन द इनर लेंथ सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर ऑल्सो फॉर ब्रेथ ऑल्सो यू एड यूअर पाथ टू टाइम्स इन द ब्रेथ ऑफ इनर रेक्टेंगल सो इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट you add your path twice in both the cases for length and for breadth also so this is the important rule that if you want to calculate the outer length or outer breadth you should add your path two times 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 understand class suppose i am talking about this is 20 meter and the path is 4 meter wide so If I am talking about four meter wide path is there, then what is the length of outer rectangle? It's twenty, and you add path two times. That is equal to twenty eight meter. If the breadth is fifteen meter, then you add your path two times. So that is equal to twenty three meter. So this is how you calculate the length and the breadth of outer rectangle. and class if they provide you the outer length or outer breadth at that time you subtract that path twice understand like you add it twice like same you subtract it twice suppose class your outer length is 50 meter and outer breadth is 25 meter and your path is 2 meter wide at that time what is the length of inner rectangle that is 50 minus 2 minus 2 understand class so that is 46 and your breadth is 25 minus 2 minus 2 that is 21 so class this is square and the same kind of procedure you will follow in square also so when the path runs inside twice the width of path should be subtracted from the length and breadth outer rectangle so the same rule is applying in square also here you can see class if they give you outer length and outer breadth or we can say outer sides at that time you subtract twice of the breadth so if it is 100 so you subtract twice of your breadth 100 minus 2 minus 2 that is 96 understand class so the same kind of process you will follow like you did in rectangle now type third is central path when paths are constructed in center of the field like this class it's very very important class if your paths are intersected each other or if your paths are in the center of the field suppose this is a rectangular field so class if i'm talking about this path one suppose you are running in this path suppose they give you the length 10 meter and breadth 5 meter so if this is 10 meter then the length of this path also 10 meter suppose they give us that suppose it is 2 meter wide so if this is 2 meter wide so for this path class this is the length 10 meter and the breadth is 2 meter so area is 10 meter into 2 meter 20 meter square so area of this path is 20 meter square now class in second condition there is a another path which is this so suppose i i colored this path through the pencil so this is your path second so class if you are coming from this place and you just complete the path from here to here so you all know the breadth is 5 meter this is 5 meter from here to here so for this path 
this is your length so this is 5 meter from here to here it's 5 meter if i'm talking about this it's 5 meter suppose class it's again 2 meter wide so for this path the length is 5 meter because it's 5 meter given here and it is 2 meter so what is the area 5 into 2 10 meter square but class now it's very very important this part is intersected by these two path if i am talking about path one if you start from this path then you already cover this area it's very very important class this area is very important in this question suppose this is you and if you are running from here then you cover this area already and you complete your running but when you run from this place also then again you are in the same place and in both the area we cover this place also so it means this area is calculating two times first here also and here also so in both the cases we calculate this area so it means class it's wrong because we calculate this area only once because this is a single place so we have to subtract this area at least once because we already calculated twice which is wrong so we all know the length of this line is 2 meter and the length of this line is also 2 meter so the area of this part is area of shaded part that is equal to 2 meter into 2 meter because we all know the side 4 meter square so this 4 meter square is calculating here also and here also so it means class we have to subtract at least one 4 meter square from these two so what is the area of this shaded part that is we add these two 20 meter square plus 10 meter square so we add this path and we add this path and now we subtract that is equal to 30 meter square and we subtract one area of this shaded part that is 4 meter square so our answer is 26 meter square so now this is the area of this whole shaded part in class this shaded part comes twice that's why we subtract one of the area of this common part so that is 4 meter square so this is the common part in both the paths so we have to subtract that common path at least once because it is included in twice in both the cases so it's very very important class now class exercise 22b the first question is they gave you a square they gave you outer sides and they gave you inner sides and they ask you about find the area of shaded portion so this is the shaded portion so how you calculate it so class area of a square we all know side into side so area of outer square outer square means class this is your outer square so that is equal to 10 into 10 100 and meter into meter meter square area of inner square they gave you 5 meter here 5 meter if the one side is 5 meter then all the sides are 5 meter so that is equal to 5 into 5 25 meter square so area of shaded portion i told you how to calculate the area of shaded portion subtract inner part from the outer part so area of shaded part equal to outer area minus inner area outer area is 100 meter square inner area is 25 meter square that is equal to 75 meter square now class i am taking question number four which is based on this which is there are two paths and they ask you about the area of shaded part so class these two paths are intersected each other in the middle of this rectangle so how we calculate it so they gave you 100 meter outer and 60 meter outer breadth so if i am talking about total area of this 6000 meter square but we don't need that class because we only need the area of this and this path so we don't need this because only we concentrate on this path and this path so there is no need to do this one now class 
area of rectangle ABCD. Where is your ABCD? A, B, C, and D. It means now we are talking about this path. So if this is 100 meter, then definitely class, it's also 100 meter. The length is 100 meter. And they gave you here the breadth is 4 meter. So the area is 100 into 4 meter square, 400 meter square. So the area of this path is 400 meter square and area of rectangle EFGH this is your EFGH if I'm talking about this so the length of this path if this is 60 meter then the length of this path is 60 meter and breadth is 4 meter so area is 60 into 4 that is equal to 240 meter square and now class I told you earlier area of shaded portion so class the area of this 400 meter square area of this path is 240 meter square i told you this is the most important part this is the common part or common area which includes in both the path this area is included in this path also and this path also so it means this area included two times so we have to subtract this area at least once because only once we can take it so area of shaded part is area of abcd plus area of efgh minus common part so which is your common part this is your common part so 400 plus 240 minus common part but what is your common part class for that you have to calculate that the breadth of this part is 4 meter and the breadth of this part is 4 meter so it means if this is 4 meter then this length is also 4 meter and if it, this is 4 meter, then this is also 4 meter. So 4 into 4. Area of this common part is 4 into 4. Length into breadth. This is a square because 4 meter and 4 meter sides are there. Both sides are same. So side into side, 16 meter square is the common part. So class, shaded part which is common that is equal to 4 meter into 4 meter, 16 meter square. So area of shaded part is we add this 640 so we subtract common part from the total shaded part so 640 minus 16 that is equal to 624 meter square now class question number six the side of a square flower bed is 1 meter 80 centimeter long it is enlarged by digging a strip 20 centimeter wide all around it find the area of the enlarged flower bed and also the increase in area of the flower bed so class side of inner square that is equal to 1 meter 80 centimeter which they gave you the meaning is 100 centimeter plus 80 centimeter that is equal to 180 centimeter which i write here 180 centimeter 180 centimeter 180 centimeter 180 centimeter so this is the side of this square bed and now class when they use the strip they increase that in 20 centimeters so 20 centimeter increment is here 20 centimeter increment is here 20 centimeter increment is here and 20 centimeter increment in this side also so in all around 20 centimeter strip should be there so length of the strip is 20 centimeter so there is a new outer square abcd we can get you can see the inner square is efgh and because of this 20 centimeter strip the new kind of square will formed a b c d and i told you how to calculate the side or the length of the outer square or outer rectangle you just add twice of your side because it's just like a path so side of outer square 180 plus 20 plus 20 so class this is just like a path so i told you earlier how to calculate the path so 180 plus 20 plus 20 you just twice the path square so you can get the side of the outer square so the area of inner square is 180 into 180 that is 3 to 4 0 0 centimeter square you can change that in meter square also 3.24 meter square area of outer square abcd you all know the side of that square 220 so 220 into 220 48400 
you can change into meter also so increase area is outer square minus inner square so i just calculate in centimeter square in this time so this minus this that is equal to 1600 centimeter square again you can change that in meter square so you all know how to change it i just do it for you so that is 1.6 meter square and question number 9 is a floor which measures 15 meter into 8 meter is to be laid with tiles measuring 50 cm by 25 cm find the number of tiles required so class this question belongs to last exercise when they gave you the area of floor or total area and they gave you the area of one tile so they ask you about the number of tiles required so you all know how to calculate it after that further if a carpet is laid on the floor so that a space of 1 meter exists between its edges and the edges of the floor what fraction of the floor is uncovered so class this abcd is your floor and they give you the length and the breadth of that floor so the area is 15 meter into 8 meter 120 meter square also they give you the measurement of tiles which is 50 cm into 25 cm so the area of one tile is 1250 cm square so i just convert that cm square in meter square because our floor is in meter square so that is equal to 0.125 meter square so number of tiles required in last topic we discussed about that so the number of tiles that is equal to total area of floor upon area of one tile so that is equal to 120 meter square upon 0.125 One to five meter square, so we can cancel meter square from meter square, and we solve this now. So by solving this, we will get nine sixty tiles. So nine sixty tiles we need to cover the floor. Now class, if one meter gap exists between carpet and floor when we laid carpet on floor, they give you this. So what is the meaning of that? This red one is your carpet class, and you laid down this carpet in the floor and the 1 meter gap is there in all around the corners so class how to calculate the area of this carpet now you all know if this is the 15 meter length and if this is behave like a path so if it is 1 meter then you subtract it twice so length of the carpet is 15 meter minus 1 meter minus 1 meter you subtract your path twice minus 1 minus 1 13 meter subtract 1 meter from here and 1 meter from here because this is the length of carpet so 1 meter length subtract from here 1 meter length subtract from here so breadth is 8 meter minus 1 meter minus 1 meter that is equal to 6 meter so area of carpet is 13 into 6 78 meter square so uncovered floor uncovered floor means class uncovered floor means this path which is your path so how we calculate it so total area of floor minus area of carpet 120 minus 78 that is equal to 42 meter square but class in question they ask you about fraction of uncovered floor so fraction of uncovered floor means class from total area how much floor is uncovered out of total area 42 meter square is uncovered so for fraction out of 120 42 is uncovered so fraction is 42 upon 120 the answer is 7 upon 20 so this is a fraction which is uncovered floor 